Hello, welcome to Scratch 3 Printing. In this video, I will show you inferior rotation template from Orga Slicers. Let's scratch to this topic. Orga Slicer just released a new version, the alpha version of 2.3.1. I did a full video covering all of the new features that they have added. I will leave a link down below or in the pop-up button right here. But in this video, I'll mainly focus on the new infill pattern or as they call it, infill rotation template. So these are some of the infill rotation that I have did test myself and it is very interesting and some of them are really cool some of them have more strength some of them are kind of flexible like these i'll show you go through all of them then we will jump into orca slicer and show you the setting that it used for these right here these are four i got two extra one right here too some of them are like really strong some of them are like wonky like this one this is number one this one right here just some rotation this one is printing line and then rotate a little bit and it looks like this um i feel like it's not the best before i get further for this print right here i got rid of the top layer and the side layer i only kept the bottom layer just to keep everything intact and uh, this one is not like the best infill to use in my opinion it and some of them are kind of peeling off so i don't know this one is okay i guess if you want some flexibility this one might work and the second one is this if we look closer here it looks like triangle right so these are triangles and this piece is very strong it does not have any bending anywhere at all. so i guess if you are looking for something that is very strong in strength this pattern is something to look into the triangle pattern which is very very stiff number three is like two towers stacking on top of each other something like that and this one is like a springy type of infill it does not have the strongest infill but it's kind of flexible so i guess if you want something to be flexible you can use this kind of infill pattern this is number four it kind of looks like number one but uses different setting and i guess it looks okay kind of flexible but not at the same time number five it looks really similar to number four but a little bit different and we can see that this one i guess is not like the best right and number six is similar to the other triangle pattern but this one has way more triangle pattern way more smaller triangle and this one is also very strong but i feel like comparison to this one and this one this is a little bit stronger than this one right here but they still both look really good pattern right here looks more clean even the side here looks a lot cleaner than this this looks like fuzzy skin but it's not and it does not look that clean i feel like this is a clear winner for strength but enough with all these showing let's jump into orca slicer and i'll show you the setting to get these kind of results and these kind of results all the results that we can get from the orca slicer we are in orca slicer so what i'm gonna do is go ahead and put a cube into orca slicer and i'm not even gonna do anything so let's go over to strength so default you would get about two or three wall loops i put mine to zero so that we can see the infill top layer just put zero to bottom show layer i keep that too just to keep the infill intact we can scroll down to infill right here so what we want is is rectangular linear if we use something else like 3d honeycomb you can see that the rotation is gone let's go back it's right here sparse infill rotation template right here it only works on some of them like this one doesn't work the zigzag it works the cross works but let's just use the rectangular near here is all the infill pattern that i have tested using this infill pattern from workout slicers like i said i got six tests here zero wall loops zero top show layer the sparse infill pattern is the rectangular near and the rotation is this so for the first one i put zero all the way to 20. so what this is going to do is for each layer it's going to rotate one degree so it's going to start from zero degree and rotate all the way to 20. let's test this one right now i just copy that and i just paste it right in here you can put in so many numbers in here which is crazy we slice the plate and just like that. To make this easier, I'm gonna scale this down to 10 millimeter. So let's slice the plate and then let's look at this. We can go up by one right here. That's the zero degree. And look at that. It rotates by one degree a little bit. Two, three, four, five, six. And they just go up all the way to 20. Once it reaches 20, it starts back at zero. And that's the zero. And then it's gonna do its pattern again. 
and once it reached 20 it's gonna restart from zero again which is really cool and that is how you get this pattern but without the wall loop i feel it's not gonna hold intact this one just look really cool i guess if you have time you can do a zero to 360 which is gonna be really really cool i believe i haven't tried that yet but i want to try that in the future but the next one is the default one that they have on workout slicer so let's give that a try let's slice the plate and look at that it rotates zero degree and rotate 45 and then 90 degree so we can go up one that's going to be the zero default that's rotating in 45 and that rotates 90 degree and then it repeats that pattern over and over and the end result you have this square triangle pattern in here which makes this really strong the next one is plus 0.22 hashtag 50 percent the plus will set positive relative angle. So it's going to do plus 22.5 degree. And then the hashtag is infill of multiple layers with vertical displacement at finished angle. The percent is the infill angle determined from relative terms from a full turn of 360 degree rotation. But I'm not 100% sure what this is, is. You can go and read it on GitHub and look at that. Boom, look at that. It's going to switch the angle right there and it's going to go up. Quite sure. Let's go a little bit higher and see what, and see the pattern there. Okay, let's go a little bit higher too. Let's do about 50 millimeter and see if the pattern changes. So the 50% is 50% of the whole model. So this is 250 layers. So half of them is going to go this angle and half of them is going to go this angle right here. So it rotates halfway with the plus 22.5 hashtag. 50% is halfway of the model. It does the other. So now we know what the percentage. Let's try this, the Z. It's really the same thing. Just change from the hashtag to the Z, which is going to make it even crazier still. Same thing, 50% halfway, and then it rotates to the other way. So it, so this one rotates like that, goes up, rotates, and then it keeps going up. The next one is this one, pretty much the same thing, except it's this key right here, or the power symbol. So let's copy and paste that here. Slice the plate, and look at that. It's just boop, 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 and the pattern. It just repeat the pattern over and over, over and over again up until about 50% and then it rotates the other way. And this is amazing. Look at this. The plus 30 is equivalent to all of this, which is also equivalent to this. So if you want, you can type this whole number in, or you can just do plus 30, and then plus 30, 60, 90, you want you every layer, it will plus by 30 degree. Let's first start with this big long number right here. Right there, that's zero. 30, 60, 90, 120, and then just keep repeating the pattern over and over again. Now let's use that and we scroll down again. 0, 30, 60, 90, just repeat the pattern again. But we have to input so much number. Here, plus 30, it will give us the same result, but we only had to do plus 30, which is very nice. 0, 30, 60, 90, 0, 60, 90, and it just keep repeating the pattern. It just look really cool, and this one is very sturdy. It's like making a circle with smaller triangle in it, which is really strong. And here, string setting infill rotation template meta language is from Orca Slicers. Um, this is the wiki for everything. I will leave this in the description down below so you can go ahead and look at all of these yourself. The basic instruction, it will tell you exactly what the plus, the times, minus Z, whatever. All of these, the, it's going to define angle, runtime instruction, stuff like that. And it will also show you examples of all the patterns down here, the percent, the hashtag, the infill, the present, and all of that. They have so many of these. I tried about five of them. And they look really cool. So if you want to, you can go ahead and look at these. <laughs> like, this one is crazy. What is that? Look at yourself and just try it. Just try it. I think it would definitely amaze you what kind of pattern you can create. That's not even it. If, you, if we scroll down, there's like way, way more crazy stuff that you can do with this. Let me know in the comments down below. I want to see what kind of things you guys can come up with. So leave a comment down below. So leave your setting in the comments down below. And, and I will try and test out your interior rotation. As you saw there, the setting is quite interesting. And there are so many settings that you can play with. 
there's plus 30, there's percentage, power off, there's rotation, there's number, a lot of things that you can play with the rotation setting infill. And what is very interesting is you can just do plus 30, you can get this result instead of doing 0, 30, 60, 90, like I just showed you, that's like a whole bunch of number, you can just do it with plus 30. And it would know that you want plus 30 rotation angle for every layer iteration, which is so, so cool. There's so many more settings to play around with to get all kind of different pattern. And uh, this pattern is so beautiful in my opinion. It's like a circle hexagon with triangle and it just look beautiful. I'll leave Orca Slicer's link down below for the infill so you can go ahead and look at it yourself and play around with the setting. Learn what kind of input you can put into that specific setting. That'll be it for this video of me showing different infill pattern on Orca Slicers. Go ahead and give it a try. I think you will love it too. Leave a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel because more amazing video like this is coming. And don't forget to join my YouTube membership. It will help grow the channel a lot. Thank you so much for watching and as always, keep on 3D printing.